stinky poo nonny. When she spread her legs, it smelled like rotten salami. When she aired it out, it still smelled like trout. So she scrubbed her muff till it was clean enough and thought up a creative way to not only play but air out her cracks using a fidget spinner and some very clever vagina hacks. My favorite products in the whole entire world. Oh! Hey Glitter Critters, it's Freeland here. Of course I would be in the feminine hygiene section. In this video today, I am gonna be showing you even more hacks for not just your vagina, but your stinky vagina. This time, I'm really gonna stink it up a bit and come up with my own descriptive terms for a smelly conk. Crusty cooter with curtains, smelly shellfish on a hot summer day, far from floral fanny friend, moldy muskrat, weak old egg roll, flappy flamingo fungus, fermented mermaid tail, yesterday's mac and cheese, cheap sushi bar, lonely hot dog bun, the clit pit, stinky pinky, smelly fetus forest, rotten crispy cream donut hole, rigamortis penis coffin, furry monkey maker, conkzilla, rainbows and stinky uniconks, rancid cap and conk cereal, and last but definitely not not least, Shane Dawson's conspiracy theories. So now that you have an all new vocabulary for what you can call your smelly conk, it's time for us to get into the hat. Oh, hey glitter critters! I just popped in here really quick because I forgot to include this in the video. I have glitter critter t-shirts! Look at this! Look how cute this is! And they're filled with glitter! Click the link at the top of the description below if you want to check them out. There's a variety of colors, and of course, it's super glitterful. I wanted to give a quick shout out to Famous Birthdays. A lot of y'all have been asking like how old I really am. It says so on my Famous Birthday profile. I will be sure to link that at the top of the description below as well. Okay, that's all. Make sure you subscribe to become an official Glitter Clitter. Let me know in the comments what you call your conk. Also, thumbs up this video if you have a conk or you want a conk. So now, let's get started. Sometimes when you get out of the pool this summer, you may smell your vag and it smells funky AF. That's because the chlorine in swimming pools affect your pH balance in your vagina, thus killing all of your healthy bacteria that help to fight infections. So make sure you take a shower quickly after you get out of the pool to avoid any odor and to start growing that healthy bacteria again. Your land down under is extremely sensitive, so sleeping or wearing tight-fitted clothing or underwear can totally suffocate your poor little biscuit. Going commando or wearing loose-fitted clothing is the best way to cut down on that stanky odor. You can also kill yeast by airing out your twat in front of a fan. Having a naked monkey may not be so great for your lasagna lips. Pubes are important. They protect your queef quarry by trapping harmful bacteria. And this is where the odor comes from. Avoid shaving or waxing all of your pubes to cut down on a moldy tinkle bird. Putting a scented tampon inside of your vagina is like spraying perfume on a turd. It's not gonna make your vag smell any better. It's just gonna cause infections, which leads to more odor. So steer clear of these scented tampons. You know sugar causes yeast bacteria? You definitely don't want a rotten snuffleupagus. So stay away from high sugar foods like candy, soda, and sugary cereal. This can cause infections plus odor, so keep your honey pot healthy. Foods with strong odors can cause your vajongus to smell like a rotten beaver corpse. So cut down on strong smelling foods like asparagus, garlic, curry, coffee, and dairy to keep your blooming onion crispy and fresh. I am obsessed with bidets. I actually have one in my bathroom toilet and it's a lifesaver. But even if you don't have one, you can buy one on Amazon for like $20. And they spray water into your cherry pie to keep your puss perky. And if you're battling a putrid period, this keeps your furry clam fresh all throughout the day. Bubble baths can also cause infections and skirt scampy odor. Avoid harsh scented bubble bath, bath bombs, and body washes. Opt for a vaginal soap bubble bath instead. Also add a little tea tree oil or lavender to your water to ward off any future odors. Your floppy fetus flaps will thank you. 
Poor hygiene can obviously cause odor, infections, and bacteria. Not showering or keeping clean down there is not a good idea. Don't be afraid to get in front of a mirror or take a picture of your sickly puking puss. So you can zoom in and see if there are any bumps, swollen areas, or inflamed crevices. If so, girl, you need to get to the clinic ASAP. I've seen fidget spinners around a lot lately, but nobody has really gotten this creative with them. Well, if you have a crabby con after a shower, dry out your cooch by either laying in front of a fan with your vagina exposed to the air, or use your fidget spinner to air out your vag. Just don't get it too close, or this could cause a reason to go to the ER and be one of those weird Daily Mail stories headline, Girl Cuts Off Clitoris with Fidget Spinner. So let me know in the comments below when your vagina was born, aka when's your birthday. And I wish you and your vagina a happy birthday and best of luck with your feminine funk. Thanks for watching and have a glitterful day. I love you. Bye.